Hi, my name is Jessica Hewitt. I'm the director of Foothill Horizons Outdoor School. In the next 30 minutes, I'm going to tell you about your upcoming learning experience at Foothill. In the next 30 minutes, we'll explore, yes, Foothill Horizons really is an outdoor school. It is more than just camp. I'll let you know what you're going to do during your adventure. I will let you know who will be there to help you and support you throughout your four days. We'll learn about where you will live. I will show you what you're going to eat. And we'll go over what you need for your four days. Foothill Horizons Outdoor School has been owned and operated by Stanislaus County Office of Education since 1958. We are now welcoming grandchildren of the first generation who attended Foothill Horizons Outdoor School as children. For over 50 years, we've been exploring nature's classroom, showing children a different type of desk, your learning at Foothill Horizons will be in your hands, not in a book. Yes, it really is school. You will be learning the entire time you are there. We are certified by the California Department of Education as an outdoor school, which means there are certain facilities, staffing, and educational requirements. This is what Foothill looks like in the fall. In the winter we get rain and sometimes snow. And in the spring our wildflowers come across our campus. We have three student goals. The first one is we want all students to get comfortable in and curious about nature. Our second student goal is that you will learn about science. And the third student goal is challenge yourself and work together. On your first day, instead of bringing your backpack to school, you'll bring your luggage, everything you're going to need for your four days. You'll load up on our Foothill Horizons buses and you'll drive to Sonora, California or the Neil E. Wade Outdoor Education Center. If you want to know the weather, you can follow the link on our website or you can remember Sonora, California. You'll be arriving with your classroom teachers who will be there to support you throughout your four days. They'll also be our paid staff, so the naturalist will be doing the instruction on the trail as well as leading evening activities. Also there to support you are the high school counselors. The high school counselors will ride up on the bus with you and they're selected by their schools to be the best leaders that they can be for you. The high schoolers are trained and coached throughout the week to be the best that they can be for you. High school students will be teacher's aides on the trail. They will keep you safe. High schoolers will make learning fun. And the high school students will be the ones staying in the dorms with you, helping you with your daily needs, such as getting out to meals on time or being prepared for hikes. We have a paid staff member who sleeps in the dorms at night, and he is there for emergencies or for anything else that the counselors or students might need at night. The dorms is one big giant building it's divided into a girl's side and a boy's side. Each side has six dorms surrounding a large bathroom and showering area. There will never be boys on the girl's side or girls on the boy's side. In the dorms, you can see that there are bunks. Foothill Horizons provides a bunk, a mattress, and a giant drawer. You get to bring the rest. Each room sleeps about 10 to 20 students. Please don't feel that you have to buy a sleeping bag. You can bring your blankets and your sheets and don't forget your pillow. Through the door in this picture would be our hallway. On the other side of the hallway are the bathrooms and showering area. The lights are always on in the hallway 
and they're always on in the bathroom. You'll also notice that there are two teachers in this dorm. They are doing the morning inspection. For a perfect dorm gets a golden broom. Our new bathrooms have been newly renovated and are clean. What do you need to bring for your adventure? You will get a parent information booklet. On the back of that is your packing list. If you lose it, you can always find another one on our website. Follow that list and ensure that everything you bring, you are willing to get it wet, muddy, and dirty. Water bottles are often forgotten, as are rain gear. Bring your rain gear just in case. If you would like to buy some Foothill Horizons gear, you're going to order it in advance from your teacher. We offer hats, sweatshirts, t-shirts, beanies, and water bottles. All proceeds from the sales of the Foothill Horizons gear is used to support students who cannot afford to it. Here are four things not to bring. We ask that students do not bring cell phones. Most cell phones do not work on site anyway. If that makes you or your family nervous, please know that in the event of an emergency, we would always call your family. Your family can always reach you. We also ask that you do not bring food. Food brought into the dorms means that the ants and the mice will move in as well. After your bus ride, your first meal, moving into the dorms, you're finally ready for your first hike into your new school. And this is what it will look like. If you are quiet and your group is still, then these are some animals that you might see. If the wildlife is not cooperating, we do have a few captive wild animals that you will get a chance to see up close. On that first hike, you will also get your name tag, which is also called a tree cookie, and your student science journal to record both your learning and your memories. If you know someone who has attended Foothill Horizons as a sixth grader, ask them if they still have their tree cookie name tag or their student science journal. On that first day, you will also have campfire. No, there's not some mores, but you may recognize someone you know on stage. You will also have to be prepared for song skits and lots of fun. Here's a sample schedule of your day at Foothill Horizons. I'm gonna give you about 15 seconds to read this over and then I will point out some highlights. Your day will begin at 7 a.m. with a wake-up call. You will have 30 minutes to get ready for the day, so there's no time for makeup curling irons, hair straighteners, blow dryers, or any of that stinky perfume stuff. You may have also noticed that you have two classes during a day. A class is also a hike and it's also called a lesson. Your lessons and classes will be outside on the trail. They're about two, two and a half hours long, which is why you need to bring your water bottle. You'll hike for a little bit, stop, learn and explore and then hike a little bit more. Your night ends at 9.30 with lights out. For quiet dorms, we offer quiet dorm awards with privileges. Meals are served family style. Students set the table and clear them. Food is served in large bowls in the center of the table. So you can eat as much or as little as you would like. Most children enjoy the food, and our menu is on our website. Our cooks cook the food in our kitchen on site. The cooks work hard to get you the food that you need to be healthy. 
Please write on your health form any food allergies or food you cannot eat. If it's competent, just call our cooks. You will work together with students at your table to serve yourselves and to clear your dishes. If everyone helps and you do it well, you will be as happy as this child because you will be five minutes closer to getting outside on the trail, which is where you want to be at Foothill Horizons. Adjacent to the dining hall is our health office area. We have a part-time nurse and a full-time health clerk who are there to treat any bumps and bruises and scrapes. If it's anything more severe, we'll call home. We also administer medication at the health office. If you take any medication on a regular basis, whether it's Tylenol, cough syrup, or medication prescribed by your doctor, you will have to have a second piece of paperwork completed and signed by your parent and your guardian. The medication administration request form has to match the bottle and it will be collected and reviewed by your school nurse to ensure that there are no errors and that you may receive your medication while at Foothill Horizons. If you use an inhaler or an EpiPen on a regular basis, we strongly encourage families to allow children to carry these medications. We also encourage families to send two, one for the office and one for your pocket. I'm going to go through some classes. Your teachers will choose from the set of classes. You'll not get a chance to do all of them. I will, however, for this slideshow, show you all the activities that you might get to do. During the Miwok class, you'll explore how the Miwok people lived, how their lives are different from yours, or perhaps how their lives are the same. You might get a chance to play some Miwa games, such as Hoop and Spear. Or you might get a chance to grind the food that they ate the most of. If you get a chance to make fire without a match, remember it takes a team. If your team works well and perseveres, then you will get this. In the ecology class, you'll explore how everything is connected in nature. For example, what happens to a dead deer in the woods? Or where does the earth get all its energy in the first place? And one of my personal favorites, which is where does soil really come from? This is a picture of a game called camouflage. I will tell you no more. If you want to know more about this game, ask the people who have come before you, what is that game, Camouflage? You'll all get a chance to dip your feet in a mountain stream. But think about this question first. And that will tell you the temperature of the water. There are other things in that creek besides sixth grader feet. So be sure to pick up a rock and look underneath it. If you would like to know more about weather, ask your teacher to sign you up for weather team. One of the evening activities you'll get a chance to do are games and dance. Don't worry, it is not a boy-girl dance. For dance, you learn big group dances, and then you do it all together. You have to be prepared for lots of laughter, a little silliness, and seeing your counselor looking like this. In the discovery class, this is all about learning on your own by making observations and using your mind. You'll get a chance to explore our hands-on science museum and learn in the same way that a scientist does. 
you get a chance to go to the bird blind, once again, if you are quiet and your group is still, you'll get to see these. Or this. Or this. In the next picture, when you see it, raise your hand. No cheating or talking. The birds are often camouflaged. On the blind walk, you will explore with your other senses. This is an activity that adults often remember 10, 20, or 30 years later. You'll go through following a chain and you'll meet your group at the end where you're going to record as much as you can remember about the blind walk. The geology class is one of my favorite because it rocks. You'll explore what shapes the rocks at Foothill Horizons. You might participate in that process of erosion and perhaps weathering in the boulder caves. You might learn why there are lots of rocks at Foothill Horizons and not so many in the Central Valley. You might also get a chance to learn how rocks are made and figure out where a rock came from just by observing it closely. Free play. You'll have about an hour of free play a day. Free play is another name for recess. In the next pictures you'll see some activities that you'll get to do during free play. Yes, there is soccer, and no, there's not football. We are an outdoor school. We are an outdoor school, which means there's also detention. We expect you to be on your best behavior, and there are consequences. If what you have chosen to do is more serious, then you'll find yourself in our step system. Step one, you'll have a conference with your teacher and you're written down in our step binder. Step two, you'll have a conference with your teacher, you'll be written down in our step book, and you'll have to call home and explain to your family what it is you've done and what you will do better. You will also have to explain that if you get on step three, you will have to go home. You only get one chance to be at Foothill Horizons as a sixth grader, so you can choose to find yourself on Detention Hill or in our step system, or you can choose to find yourself on the WOW board for anything kind that you do. The board is often a source of pride for teachers and principals. You can also choose to have your whole recess to yourself. Most children are nervous about showers, but remember, 5,000 children do it every year, which means you can do it too. You'll have your separate showering area, which is a little stall with a locking door. Yes, there's hot water in those showers, and showers are three minutes long. The way it will work is you'll get changed in your dorm. If that makes you nervous, change under your blankets, change between your giant bunks, or have a friend hold a towel up for you so you have a little changing room. Once you're changed, you'll wrap yourself in your towel and you will have your shampoo and your conditioner and your soap and you'll wait. Your teacher will come knock on the door and tell you that it's time for your dorm to go in. They'll send you in and they'll start timing. They'll give you time warnings. They'll say, you got one minute, 30 seconds. All right, head out. And then they'll send you out. If you're nervous about a three minute shower, just practice at home. And remember, it is possible. The night hike. This is an activity that adults remember many years later. You'll hike with your hiking group and your naturalist to the Sky Tower. Perhaps you'll see why we're called Foothill Horizons. Perhaps you'll see a sunset. And you'll see 
what stars or planets or what shape the moon is in. We're not done yet. On one of those days at Foothill Horizons, you'll get to go on a field trip on a field trip where you'll visit two unique places to California. You'll get a chance to see the world's largest trees, the giant sequoias. People come from all over the world just to wonder at these trees. You might learn why these trees need fire to survive or how old a giant sequoia can grow. These trees only grow in California. On field trip, you'll also get a chance to go to Moaning Caverns, where you'll dive 165 feet into the crust of the earth. You might see someone you recognize going down on the rope. Sixth graders get to go down the stairs. And at the bottom, your naturalist will answer questions such as, can rocks really grow? Or why does a cave need water? And you might see some ancient formations. On that last day, you will have made new friends. You will have worked together with people you may not have known before you arrived. You will have learned your own strength and capabilities by challenging yourself and trying new things. You will have learned about science in your hands and recorded your memories in your journal. You will have explored nature's mysteries and we hope when you get home you will continue to learn about science and nature. If you want to know more, I haven't answered all your questions. You can always ask your classroom teacher. You can always visit us at foothill.com and you can always call us. You can visit us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and you can visit us in person. Every year in the fall and in the spring, we have an open house. It's free from 10 to 2. Come and visit us. We hope we'll see you soon.